Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. Engineers are teaming up with neurosurgeons to develop technologies that enable less invasive, image-guided removal of hard-to-reach brain tumors. Their tech combines novel imaging techniques that allow surgeons to see deep within the brain during surgery, using robotic systems that enhance the precision of tissue removal. The team has already designed, constructed, and tested its first prototype, a finger-like device with multiple joints, allowing it to move in many directions. Future modifications will allow the robot to function inside a patient during MRI scanning using a shape memory alloy. The rapidly growing obesity epidemic is estimated to cost the American economy over $140 billion annually due to loss of productivity and medical complications. To solve this problem, students at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem's biodesign program have developed a new type of gastric sleeve called Metabashield. The endoscopic insertion requires no general anesthesia, no incisions, and no tissue damage. The natural C-shape anatomy helps keep the sleeve in place and blocks food absorption without damaging the intestine. When it comes to regenerating heart tissue after a heart attack, Temple University scientists have found that stem cells in cortical bone do a better job than the heart's own stem cells. A major challenge in the treatment is early intervention, which is key to reducing the chances for long-term complications like heart failure. When it comes to stem cells, injecting the cells following a heart attack could make a substantial impact. While it's still early for this type of treatment, the findings have considerable implications for stem cell therapy for the heart. LabStyle Innovations has a new compact glucose meter that pairs with a smartphone to display readings and maintain a historical record of the patient's blood sugar. The Dario Glucometer, which plugs into the phone's audio jack, comes with 25 test strips and a built-in lancet. Once the device is connected and the app is launched, patients simply slide a test strip into the meter, draw blood, and the meter does the rest. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com. And until next time, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse.